What's up guys, it's Quirky here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to carry even if you're in tank. We're going to be reviewing this game here, and as you can see my KDA doesn't look the best. But even with this KDA, I was one of the main factors for us winning the game. Here's the runes I was using this game. I was actually suggested these runes from a viewer in the comments, and it's actually working pretty well for me. All laning feels better because you have the extra health insurance. So if my other runes are not working for you, try this one out. It probably would work for you. I've seen a lot of Yorick mains use this as well, so these are probably the main definitive runes I would say. But as you probably should know, Yorick has a lot of options so he could probably pick other runes that would work out well for him, but for now, this is pretty good so I'm gonna stick with this for now. So first of all, I'm gonna be showing you what went wrong in the early game and how my KD turned out to look like that and what I did to turn it around and win us the game. So as a team, we did an early level invade in the top side and Zeroth picked up a nice first blood, which I believe also aided us to win this game because the Zeraths turned out to do the most damage on our team from that one lead. And then early level, Rengar got invaded by the Elise. She had a level advantage so she was obviously winning the 1v1 and forced Rengar to flush out. Then Pike roamed to try kill her and I roamed down as well. Because I knew I've got the lane pushing in and then she was going to turn up so we can turn the fight around. But I expected Elise to die from Pike which he failed to do. And that messed everything up because Pike was low and now Kale is here. And now since Pike is low... Kill can easily pick up the kill and he gets the pike flash and now I have to kill the Elise so it's going to be a very bad trade so I have to flash over the killer but once she dies I'm screwed because Rengar can't come and he dies as well so it's just me kill on Yasuo and obviously Yasuo cleans me up so I lose all that minion top side which is not too much but it's pretty bad since I wanted to push it in and Yasuo now has a double kill and Kale has a kill so two lanes put at a disadvantage and think about this it's pike mid so you don't really want Pike to be behind. And now you see I was double buff as well, so Pike is screwed at this point. So we fast forwarded for about a minute. Lane's going fine. I actually forced the kill to back at this point because she has to. So it's all good. I'm just going to push this in. Hopefully get her back. But I have to make sure this cannon wave and the uh, casters are under the tower before I, I back. Not knowing Elise is here right now, so that's going to screw me over. So he TPs in and Elise ganks me. At this point, it's really bad because if I die here, they're going to freeze the wave. So I tried my best to escape. Bad W, but I drew out the cocoon and the uh, kill slow. Use all my pots to try to run them. And I actually do survive. And actually, the wave is going to push in. So that's what I wanted. It should be good, right? But no, I wanted the casters to be under the tower. So yeah, I do get it back and I don't miss much, but... Coming into lane, I don't have TP as well, so it's all good. You can't really push in quickly. Just fast forward this. Alright, so I come into lane now. This is what I don't want. This build up here, especially against a kill that's about to turn 6. I don't know when she's going to turn 6, she's about to turn it right now, I think. Yep, she got the XP advantage right now. After this cannon, she should turn 6. Okay, once she turns 6, she gets her range, and I heavily underestimate her range ability because she destroys me at this point. I lose about half my health. Did not expect that, especially with Bone Plane. I did not expect that. So now this big wave is pushing in. She's range, so she's going to bully me this whole time whilst it's on the tower. So this big wave's here. I'm going to get bullied the whole time. It's not fun. Alright. So that screws me over. Because I should be able to, I should be in a position to kill her, but that Elise gank messed me up, unfortunately. So two minutes later, I finally find an opportunity to kill her with the Rengar gank. Hopefully she comes. But she somehow kills me. I underestimated that. I had flash at this point, so I could have flash out the way, and Rengar would have got the kill. That was my bad. Luckily, Rengar picked up the kill, but Elise is here now, and he's gonna clean up with Rengar. Which means this wave is in a bad position, I'm gonna miss all these minions again. I mean she's gonna miss some as well but with the way it's positioned it's gonna happen again. There's gonna be a big wave that's gonna go under my tower and I'm gonna get bullied so I'll just fast forward and show you that. Yep, there you go. Coming up again. At this point I'm getting really annoyed. I need to, I'm 1-2-2, two, and two. I need to get a lead. You can't give kill the laning phase and the mid and late game because he's already a, a strong champ. So I need to get a lead. I'm gonna try to poke her out. Running back. I'm gonna try to force a 1v1 at, sooner or later because I need that lead. Okay, 
Yep, just me getting bullied again. Alright, at this point, I'm just gonna force it. I've got one more tick of corrupting, I don't know why. I feel like I can win this. So I just forced this. She's got a level down to though. Anyway, she's not kind. And that is very unfortunate. 8 HP, I was so close to killing her. If I killed her there, I would have been back in the game, but now I'm even more behind. I'm 1 3 and 2. Pyker should probably pick this up. So I'm 1 3 and 3. It doesn't matter, I'm still behind. I'm behind in CS and XP advantage, and this is against a kill. You should be ahead against a kill in any phase, so I screwed up. And there's unfortunate circumstances on top of that. Alright, so we fast forward 6 minutes in the future, and I've lost everything. Lost two towers, I'm still inting. Don't want to show you all the ints because you already saw the majority of it. I just basically died a few times again with Elise Gankin. So at this point, my mental is really bad. I'm really behind the KO at this point as well. I'm with the same level, I guess, which isn't too bad, but she is way ahead in CS. She has an item power spike. I have her as well, but she's generally stronger because she's just a stronger champ. So what I need to do now is. There's no there's no way I'm gonna 1v9. I know I did say you can carry but you can't necessarily 1v9. You have to rely on your team sometimes, so I'm just gonna hope that my team does good and I'm just gonna side in permanently. I'm usually a team fighting orc player but at this point when you're really behind you can't do that. You have to side lane and what I'm gonna do here is just hold this lane against the Fed Yasuo. Very fed. So I can't fight him. I just have to hold it. They're doing Baron as well, so we're gonna lose we're getting even more behind. Which is even more tilting. Maiden is dying as well. I think TPing was a good idea. Well, at the, at the time I thought TPing was a good idea. It wasn't. They're gonna get the Baron either way. I'm just gonna die. Maybe pick up a kill. Alright, we picked up a kill. I'm 2, 6 and 5. Yes, you were roamed up for no reason. He could have taken that tower. But I'm even more... I'm in even more now. It's gonna get the side lane. What I should have done just stay here, there's no point TPing. Alright, so I'm back up. What I'm gonna do is just push this wave out. And I should go bot after. It's what you do when you're behind, you just you just push side lanes. That's all you have to do. My team picked up the kill which was good. You can see I'm just pushing out the side lane. Take the cannon wave. Then let her push. Then I'm gonna go bot. And let do the same thing again. Just pushing out the both both the side lanes. This is gonna order push out, she's gonna have to answer towards it. But yeah, I'm gonna push this out now. And then again, I'm gonna push it out and go top. And now she has to go and answer that wave. So I'm gonna go top now. And push that one out. And I'm slowly catching up in CS, not too behind at this point. I've been mean, soaking up the XP as well, not too behind in levels. Even though she has a Baron buff, she's only one level ahead. But as you can see, what I'm doing just, is just side pushing lanes. There's no point doing anything else. And my, my team's defending mid. It's good on them. Because, yeah, Zeref is pretty fed right now. So I'll just keep pushing outside lane again. Gonna back and do the same thing, but now. But this time she's, she's just straight up pushing, which is bad. Because I might not be able to defend against it. Yeah, it's going to be pretty difficult. She has Baron buff as well. Team's losing the team fight. But I don't want her to get this. I'm going to try my best to make sure she don't get it. And she's destroying me right now. Maybe I should have all in there. I might have won it. But yeah, she's still destroying me right now. She's going to try to get this. I'm going to try to stop her. I can't let her get this. It's really bad she gets this. So she greets for me, I get the wall up, and flash, and she walks into the wall, and she's stuck now, because I max W second, especially for this matchup, so right now, she can't do anything, but I was going to keep hitting her, and she dies, so that's me catching up even more now, and I'm just going to push this out again, just slide push it out. Roam mid to see if anything's going on. Yeah, we pick up a kill here. I only came mid here because 
I was really close to the fight that's happening here. I was here, so there's no point backing off from it. And we got a nice double kill there. What I should do now is side push the lane. Here we go again. I'm gonna push out the side wave. I don't know why I'm, I waste my time here. I should not be mid. Just push the side lanes out. Just keep doing what that. We're the same level. Okay, she's level 16 now. She's a very greedy kill, so I'm gonna one with you. I'm gonna bait her in because I know Pike is coming. And in fact, I think I could have one v one that, but Pike got to, gets the kill anyway. And I'm gonna side lean again. Just push out the side wave. Just keep pushing it out. I even got TM. This t timer is really good to get if you if you plan to side lane every time since you can push waves instantly. Baron buff is coming up. This is gonna push in with my ghouls, and I'm gonna push the side lane again. As you can see, instantly push that out. Now that's gonna go out. All right, so both lanes are pushed up now. Just because of me. So I'm just gonna fight now because the both lanes push up, no point doing anything else. We try to get her. We get the Ezreal, which is a big pick. And since we're so. Bef we're, we're not that behind actually, but. At the situation, we are pretty behind because we, we lost 4 towers and they have Inferno and Mountain. She just got bursted, so. Free Baron. Alright, so I got the Baron buff now, and at this point, my score does look bad, but I'm ahead. I'm level 17. No one else is close to that level. So I'm actually fed now. And I only got fed because all I did was push side lanes out. So right now, I can play normally now. And by playing normally, I mean you can team fight now, or you can actually split push and go all the way to the towers, because before I couldn't do that. All I could do is just let my goals push out, because I was too weak to actually 1v1, but now I'm really strong. I can 1v1 anyone there, so I'm just gonna push out side lanes, maybe join team fights, but with the situation, I think pushing mid is good because generally we're not that ahead, apart from Zeref, I think everyone else is doing basically no damage. So split pushing is a better option right now. And I destroy towers right now. They don't know what they're doing. Ezreal can't get defend, I'm 3 levels ahead of them at this point. 4 levels, I'm level 18 now, okay. No one's, I'm the first one to hit 18. Think about this. I, I went from inting the most out of the whole game hitting 18 first and I still have a terrible KDA so that just shows you side leaning is very powerful in terms of catching up all right we're just gonna ignore the Soraka score she's inting the most but I'm inting the second most they're forced to do that free lane now that everyone's mid and that's pushing up and I got Baron buff that's free. I'm just gonna ward it, so I know if they're coming or not. I'm just gonna push that out now. And I, I trust my Zeref enough. This, this Zeref is pretty good. I've, he has has a YouTube channel. Now that I looked at, it's pretty cool. But yeah, I know he's strong enough, so he's gonna hopefully defend. Oh, there you go. This doesn't matter. Just hopefully they don't get aced. What's that's happening? That's a free tower for me. Zeref is still alive, so I know. He tried to TP, but. I'm too, I'm too good, so I'm just gonna destroy that tower. And now, uh, I'm just gonna push, I'm gonna take this inhib, and I was planning to back at this point. But then, look in mid. The only two people backing their team is Soraka and Kale. And they both stopped backing. So this is basically free for me. Cause now, they're too busy pushing down mid. They don't have Baron buff, think about it, so they can't go back instantly. They're too busy pushing out mid. I'm a Yorick with Baron buff. And I can basically end the game at this point. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now. They can't do anything. Soraka, what's she gonna do? I'm just gonna ignore her. Kill's coming up. She flashes to get in range. Can't do anything about that. And I'm just gonna XP the base. I flash here so she can't auto attack me. And Soraka is not doing anything to me. And that's basically a free base. Free game, I'd say. Free inhib. And a free nexus. So this is the end game stats, as you can see Zerak put in work, doing a lot of damage, I did the second most damage even though 
my KD doesn't really show that. That's actually doing a lot of damage. But stats for, that's really important. I don't really care about the damage stats. I actually tanked a lot as well. Yeah, I tanked the most. But the most important stat to me is damage taken to tower, which is where is it? Here. And that's me right at the top. Side laning to victory. So what I want to show with this video is that you don't necessarily have to be super fair to be 1v9ing. You can actually still carry games whilst look, looking like you're inting. And all you have to do is just push top lane, let the 3-4 to goals auto push and do the same thing but... And you should be able to win because you'll get that XP advantage. As long as the team is good enough, that is, if they can hold themselves. If they int as well then that game's pretty much over but yeah. So that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching if you watched it all the way to the end. I hope you learned a thing or two. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more knowledgeable content and I'll see you in the next one.